calf slicer. This submission has several names, such as knee slicer or calf crusher, fairly accurate names. It also could be called the knee blower upper or something like that. It has worked at the highest levels of combat sports. It works in a fairly similar way as the bicep slicer. Please see my video on that. But the anatomy is different and the damage that happens is also very different. For these reasons, I felt that a separate video was needed. I'm Dr. Lucius Pomerantz, board certified orthopedic surgeon, black belt Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, blood and sweat, hoping to educate you all about anatomy, combat sports, and hopefully reduce the anxiety and confusion about how our bodies work. In this video, we will talk about the calf slicer, the anatomy involved, how to make the submission more powerful, and what happens when the submission is allowed to go all of the way. The submission involves, usually, placing your own lower leg into the crook of your opponent's knee. There are lots of ways into this submission, and when it is locked in, it works. It works by creating a lever with your own limb as the fulcrum. As the long end of the lever is forced down, a huge amount of force is generated on the other side of the fulcrum. We will talk about why this is bad for the knee in a little bit. First, the anatomy. In the knee, you have the big femur bone joining up with the tibia and the fibula, making up the knee joint. This joint, as opposed to some of the other joints in our body, does not have much bone support and is very dependent on the ligaments to support it. On the back of the femur, you have the hamstring muscles. And on the back of the tibia and fibula, you have the gastrocnemius and soleus muscles. These muscles are involved in flexion of your knee, bringing your foot towards your butt in the back. And the gastrocnemius and soleus are also important to the plantar flexion of your ankle. This means pushing your toes down as they pull up on the heel through the Achilles tendon. It is now that the differences between the calf slicer and the bicep slicer will become that much more obvious. At the knee, the bones are way stronger. Their diameter is much larger than the arm bones, and as we discussed in the bicep slicer video, the strength of these bones is proportional to the radius to the fourth power. To review, this means that if something is two times thicker, which the tibia and the femur are compared to that of the forearm bones, then the bone is 16 times stronger. However, the knee is supported only by ligaments and very susceptible to a lever mechanism like that caused by the calf slicer. There are a few ways you can make the lever more powerful. They are keeping in mind the basic formula. Force and distance on one side is gonna be equal to the force and distance on the other. I know, math. If the distance is increased on one side and reduced or kept the same on the other side, then the force on the shorter distance must go up. This force goes up the more there's a difference in the distance. So, how can you make your slicer work better? One, the further away from the fulcrum you can pull, the stronger it is. You, you can see how Brett Johns is grabbing the toes or UFC champion Charles Oliveira is grabbing at the waist and hips. Different approaches to the knee slicer, but both are levering as far from the knee as they can go. Two, the closer you can get your fulcrum, your leg, into the crook of their knee, the more force will be translated towards the knee. This means also trying to get your leg as perpendicular to their leg as you can. A broad fulcrum reduces the distance of the lever and thus reduces the force you can generate. As the submission is cranked, the muscles of the calf are usually crushed. If the pain of the calf being crushed can be tolerated, interesting things can start happening. Since the leg bones are so hard to break, they're thick bones and the knee is just supported by ligaments, the knee joint can actually be levered open, causing the ligaments to tear. This is not just a pain submission, but can cause real damage. So be careful, be a good training partner, respect the submission, get after it, and most importantly, let's keep moving.